just meditate. Don't feel the hate, you the energy and levitate. Contemplate, make sure your next decision great. Thank me later, I just showed you how to elevate. <laughs> Above the shit in our communities. Drop knowledge, just to spread opportunities. And as always, thank with greatness. Where Mike McDaniel, the head coach, was asked what it means to be in first place 11 weeks into the season. A lottery ticket that you don't check the winning numbers. I mean, is it worth something? I don't know. I actually RC. have no idea what that means. Know. Like, I don't I, – and I know that Mike is such an intelligent coach right? and he's an intelligent human. He's actually too smart for me because I can see it being a lottery ticket when you don't actually know what the lottery numbers are and you have that type of hope. But to say that it's a lottery ticket that you don't check the numbers on means you just aren't doing the stinking work. And obviously the Miami Dolphins are doing the work. They're the number one team in the AFC East because of his work with Tua Tungabaloa. And Tua Tungabaloa and that team's belief in Mike McDaniels. He is not the guy to give analogies, but he's certainly the dude to call plays. And if I get that lottery ticket, Coach, I'll check it for you because you just might have hit it with getting that job. Ooh, love it. Hey, you know what? He should watch the beginning of NFL Live today with all the analogies we had on the show, right? Some. It would help him. Yeah. 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 You hit, All right. Let me get to some. Green Bay yeah, next, where Aaron Rodgers yeah. and the Packers <laughs> are getting ready for a Sunday night matchup with the 9 and 1 Eagles. Rodgers was on the Pat McAfee show this afternoon, talked about the health of his throwing hand. Mm. Take a listen. Okay. My thumb is just what it is, you know. It's been it's been an issue since the Giants, but not an issue that I'm going to rely on for an excuse or need. I mean, after the Cowboys game, I put basically every ball exactly where I wanted to and there wasn't any questions about how my thumb was. I mean, I've broken other fingers in the past. I played a you know a season, a stretch in college with my index finger and my throwing hand broken. I broke my pinky on, on both hands. You know, if I still feel I can go out there and throw it the way I throw it, then obviously I'm gonna keep playing. Marcus, uh, what do you make of that? I make that the phalanges are very important, El Boogie. That's what that's all I take away from it. And if 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 they if they have never at a time needed to be more important to the Green Bay Packers, it is now. They have a five percent chance to make the playoffs. You know where those that five percent lies at? In them phalanges of number twelve. So hopefully he's feeling good. Hopefully the cold weather numbs it enough and the warm weather keeps it loose enough. At some point. Aaron Rodgers' phalanges is going to have to lead the Green Bay Packers out of the abyss, and I don't know if he can, Boogie, because yeah. his phalanges hurt. Well, let me say this. Uh, that 5% chance that you mentioned, that's according to FPI, which is football power index, not phalange power index, just for people at home. All right, <laughs> Joe Burrow threw for 355 P, yards and four touchdowns in Sunday's win over the Steelers. The Bengals' offensive line kept Burrow clean, boy, and when boy, that's dude. the case, He's nearly impossible to stop. Over the last two seasons, Burrow leads the NFL in completion percentage, yards per attempt, first down rate, and passer rating when the offensive line sustains their blocks for at least 2.5 seconds. So, Dan, what stood out to you from Burrow's tape on Sunday? Foresight. Throw the ball before the guys are ready for it. And that's the reason why, even without Jamar Chase, this Bengals offense is completely back. Curl, flat, shallow cross, right? Everyone pay attention to the flat defender. That's that guy. If he hangs inside, Joe kicks it to the flat. If he widens to the flat, we're going to move to the curl and the shallow cross. Now I go to the hook defender. If he widens, drop it off to the shallow. If he hangs inside, fall out to the curl. Joe sees it, but that receiver's just dropping his hips, but he's already made the decision to get the ball out. That's what we call timing and or anticipation. Now I'm going to get all go F, F seam stop. That's the, this receiver right here, Tyler Boyd. There's two man, meaning this defender's going to trail with inside leverage. Ball's got to come out one, two, three, hitch. Just as Boyd is dropping his weight to sell that seam and that defender carries because that corner up top's peeking inside as well. Ball's got to come out, Joe. Perfect placement. That's timing. That's anticipation. That's what we call foresight. That receiver's about to be open. Ball has to come out of my hands right now. That's how he's helping that offensive line protect a little bit better. Yeah. That's always been Joe's superpower. It's why they are absolutely a team, certainly an offense, to be reckoned with as the rest of the season goes on. How many quarterbacks can you really say they help the offensive line be better, right? Tua, Tua was one of them. Patrick. Um, Not many, though. Yeah, yeah you can count them on one hand. And, right, and exactly. Good on you. Oh, my God, the phalanges. All right, speaking of that, Marcus. What's